Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Force with some more Hearthstone. Today we will be playing some games with the Aggro Mage deck. Our first matchup here is against a Warrior. It's probably one of the worst matchups for this deck. Uh, we've got the Mirror Image. Since we've got the extra card, we are going to aggressively mulligan, attempting to get the Mana Worm. Uh, if we get the Mana Worm, that is a very strong opener for us. And uh, that's a good start, especially given our opponent. So I can dig it. Okay, so we are going to go Mana Worm Coin, Mirror Image. He will kill off one of the copies, but then we can kill off his... Uh, we can kill off his Leper Gnome. And based on the fact that he's playing Leper Gnome, looks like he is playing a more aggressive style of Warrior. So here is the Mirror Image. And now even if he has a weapon, he will not be able to kill our Mana Worm right now. So we're going to be able to make some use out of it. Again, he's got the kill for one of ours. Okay. There's another one. So he'll be able to kill a second one after that. And then if he's got a weapon attack, he'll be able to go into it with that. Right. Um. Yeah, he could Whirlwind. But if he doesn't have the Whirlwind, I can kill. Oh, no, let's just do this. And then I'm going to hit him in the Face. All right, so it's either he has a world. It's either I attack the two one. He has a whirlwind and he kills it, or he has a weapon, kills this and kills that. Or, yeah. So hope he doesn't have a whirlwind, and then potentially get more damage off of this. That's what I'm gonna do. We just have to hope he doesn't have a Whirlwind, a Cruel Taskmaster, or a Slam. <laughs> that was actually a really stupid decision when I just read, when I just said that back out loud. There was a lot of things that he could have had that would have completely destroyed what I did there. Uh, so it was probably a terrible, it was a, it, it, well, not probably, it was a terrible decision. What I ended up going for. I'm gonna fill the board right now. That was a terrible decision. I should not have ran that into his Leper Gnome. I should not have done that. He could have had so much, but he's running aggro style, so I think he's less likely to have some of those control style cards. So, I mean, again, looking at what he has, it's quite obvious his uh, game plan, his play style. So he's going to give me an extra crystal by playing the Arcane Golem. And he'll be running the... Uh, I think he's deciding which one he wants to keep and which one he wants to throw. Oh, he's gonna go straight for my face. Okay, so if he wants to race this, that's something I'm uh, actually okay with. So what we are gonna do here is, if he wants to race, we'll race. Gonna get rid of one of them. Toss the mirror image in play to give ourselves the two coins. Uh, I should have done that before the attack. Excuse me, I missed out on a single damage there. I could have gotten one more damage through and brought him down to 15. Now, let's see if he has a brawl. Not right now. He's gonna armor up. Argent Squire. So he doesn't have a whirlwind because he would have waited to play the Argent Squire. Rogue Strike, giving his hero four attacks. So he's going to clear my taunters right now. And we are going to continue to race him and basically hope for top decks. Um, at this point. Um, I will get rid of his Squire. So that he cannot get that free trade on the Mana Worm next turn. So we're just going to go like this. Throw down our Argent Squire. So far, so good. Uh, a brawl is really. A brawl would really destroy this right now. But beyond that, even if he whirlwinds, I'm feeling okay. Because he's going to take two from that. Yeah, it doesn't have the whirlwind. So he's getting rid of my high priority creature. Let's see what else he's got. Smortal Strike. We've got. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's the win. Okay, so facing an aggro style warrior, we came away with the victory. Let's move on to another match. And our next game is against a warlock. Uh, this is trash. Trash, trash for our opening hand. We want some of those early drops. Let's see what the roll of the dice gives us. All right. Well, we got Mana War Mirror Image. Um, so this is an interesting matchup. It it's obviously can be so coin flip because it's a Warlock, and Warlocks really have two very strong builds. The Aggro Warlock and then the much slower Handlock. Those are the two most prevalent things. He's gonna be throwing down a Void Walker. We will be able to push past that. Let's see what he coins into. Actually, kind of okay. Flame Imp's all right. So we're gonna be going with um, Mirror Image Arcane Missiles right here, and that'll be enough damage to push through this guy. So I kind of just hope that the Arcane Missiles hit the Flame Imp. There we go. RNG Jesus. Ah, uh, well, not perfect, but not going to complain too much about that. Gonna push through the taunt here. Uh, we got two health remaining on the Mana Worm. Could see a Demon Fire, although that's not regularly played, so we'll have to see. He's, uh, oh boy, that's annoying. So, in past experience, I have gone for a little bit of trading against this style of deck. And I think I will be doing that very thing here as well. The light protects me. We're going to kill this. All right. This way, next turn, we can Argent Squire and ping that to finish it off. Whereas if we leave the Priestess, he plays another creature, it pumps up that creature, making that much more difficult to kill. But at least, unless he taunts right now, at least we have a response for his guy. Not a great turn, I mean, we're able to kill off his 3-2. But we're sitting with two floating crystals and nothing to play off of it. Don't want to play the Ice Lance. Unless we're like just about to die. That sucks. We've got a kill for it, but we're throwing away creatures and giving him... Giving him a crystal. So it's kind of tough. I mean, we've got him at a little less health right now, but do remember, crazy burst damage uh, potential from the Warlock. My shield for Argus. All right. And that obviously is going to slow us up quite a bit. Go with the arcane intellect, then we'll be throwing our two creatures in play. Mind if I roll me. Or we could go with a mirror image. Oh, we can wait on the mirror image. Put these two in play right now. We need to get by those taunts, so. If he's got a mortal coil, that is going to hurt quite a bit. Alright, so we've got the kill for that with a ping. Alright, we're going to be throwing down mirror image this turn. Mana worm, mirror image. Going to hold on to the fireball for attempting to finish him off later in the game. Draw some cards. Could really use that second, um... Could really use... Arcane Missiles. Push through. He's just got so much taunt, it slows me up incredibly. Now, I, I've been able to slow him up as well. I mean, this is the second mirror image this game, so... 
Wait, is that correct? My brain's mushing games together. Gets that, gets that. Gets that, plus there's a mortal coil. Okay, so we can kill his Argus. Um, oh boy, he's at 18. Oh boy. That's four. Five, six, seven. That's 11. I wonder. Question is, can he kill me next turn? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, plus seven plus five with the Doom Guard. It's I mean, I'm at 26. I really don't think he can. So if we go four right now, well, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna hit him in the face. So that brings him down to 14. And then we've got six, seven, eight, nine, plus the four. That puts us at 13. So I, I, I need to ping him to guarantee a kill for next turn. And I can play this just to give him something to potentially walk into, because I don't need this to, I, four, five, six, seven, yeah, I don't need this. I'm gonna give him a, a potential target. Although if he has kill, he's just gonna go for it anyways. My big debate, if you're wondering what I was doing, my big debate was whether or not he to fire blast his well. face. It looks like we, well, let's see. His next card is gonna tell me if, if he had. Oh my gosh, he might have the win right now. Well, no, I'm at 25. Yeah, okay, so unless he. It doesn't matter. We win. This is the game. We win. Whew! It's just very nerve wracking. There's a lot of. There's so much crazy potential burst. Look at him clearing my board though. There's so much crazy potential burst with a Warlock. You really do have to be careful. Between Soul Fire, Doom Guard, Power Overwhelming, just all of that stuff. Jeez, look at this. All right, well, let's, let's just make it nice and simple then. Nothing too convoluted. There's the double fireball. There's game number two. Let's move on to a third match. And our third game is against, yes, another Warlock. Uh, once more, most of the time, unless you're facing an opponent that like, has an absolutely positively incredibly easy time of removing a mana worm most of the time if you get the four cards which means you get the coin we're going for the mana worm and we don't get it unfortunately so the last hand would have been much better for us in fact this hand's kind of garbage <laughs> we really don't want this until we're out of cards and it's like the end of the game uh the knife juggler i mean i guess i could coin into a knife juggler so that we can follow it up with an apprentice. I don't, it's not like ideal at all. He could throw a soul fire at it right now, but I think we might be facing Handlock since he had nothing on his first play. And in facing Handlock, what I've really come to realize is that I want to push through as much damage early on to get him down really in like the 15 health range so long as we draw into our our finishing spells if we get him down into the 15 health range then we can a lot of times just finish him off i hope he doesn't play anything i hope he taps right now no he's gonna soul fire please just tap okay um trying to think if i want him to draw cards or oh no 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 that's what we want to do we're gonna play. Let's go with arcane missiles first. See what it hits. I'm a little. I mean, worry about hellfire, but let's play this. See what it hits. Okay. So the question is, he could. I'm gonna hold on to my second apprentice. Because Hellfire clears everything. At least this way I've got another apprentice if he does it. If he doesn't... Oh boy.
We're gonna keep going for his face here. You really, I really, every time I play against Hamlock, I just go for the face at this point because I need to just get him in spell kill range. If he's got the two Molen Giants, he plays them for free. That, but I need to do something. All right, so let's see what he's got here. If he's got any Molen Giants, they're coming to play at zero cost right now. There's a Soul Fire. Getting rid of one of my creatures. At this point, ooh, that's really good. Getting rid of a Siphon Soul is really good there. At this point, I'm just looking for basically the, the spell finishers. Um, but let's get through his taunt and into his face. And then we can try to draw into the spell finisher. So we're going to get through his taunt this way. And then we will be attempting to draw into our spell finishers with the Cold Light Oracle. Worst comes to worst, killing off the Blood Mage Thalnos. But he's at four. So it's all about spell damage at this point. I think I said this earlier in the video, but as I've played this deck more and more, this is sort of a great example as to you focus on the creatures for like the first half or, you know, more than half of his health. And then you finish him off with spells. That's sort of the best thing you can try to go for. And we top deck the fireball. You know, honestly, even if we didn't top deck the fireball, we've got card draw in the oracle and card draw in the Thanos potentially. We had the win. His his safest bet would have been a Jaraxxus, but that's obviously not in the cards for this game. He's still two turns away from that, so there you go. That's uh, that's a, sort of a great example, or almost an ideal example, as to how I generally roll with this deck. Zerg down early on, hold on to the fireballs, hold on to those spells, and then finish off with the spells. Uh, I think that's going to wrap it up, though, for this Ladder Climb video. Uh, the deck is doing fairly well. There are definitely tough matchups. Heavy, heavy taunt decks can be just a tremendous, tremendous pain in the butt. Uh, when, I've, when I've been facing against druids with this deck in particular, like taunt-heavy druids... It, I really, have, you've got no other choice but to try to get them down to around 15 health um, before they get that that first druid in the claw in around turn five. Now, if they're ramp druid, they're getting it out much earlier, and especially if they go fur, excuse me, if they go second with a coin plus an innervate, that first druid of the claw is going to hurt you quite a bit. And uh, sometimes if I have it, I'll just even throw a fireball at it. But uh, nine times out of ten, save, saving the spells for the finisher, uh, working them down with those creatures early on, and then that's pretty much it. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, it's been a fun deck to play. I think it's going to stagnate around this rank, though. As you can see, I'm about to push into rank four. Um, I'll be moving on to another deck, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed taking a look at the aggro mage. Hope you have a great day as well. Stay tuned for some more Hearthstone coming up. Keep watching and keep owning.